Today we're talking with Sarah Smith, second year MFA student and Louisiana State University's professional actor training program and star of A Doll's House, a Swine Palace production running February 3rd through the 21st mm -hmm. at the Riley Theater. Hi Sarah, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. We are about an hour away from our first audience, so I'm pretty excited. This is a, a big role. I mean, this is one of the roles that people consider to be a role that women want to play in their career. Yeah. What has been the most challenging part of playing Nora for you? Um, she's pretty brave. and She's braver than anyone I know. And her, her character arc through the entire show, it leaves her leaving everything that she knows um, and going into an unknown world. And I think it's relevant today, especially I thought it was relevant for me because um, I'm coming into a phase of my life where I don't believe in marriage, maybe. And um, it's interesting that she challenges that by saying, what is my role as a wife or as a mother? Um, and she answers by the end as saying, I'm supposed to be a human being first. So I'll start there. And that's kind of where I am right now. A lot of people consider A Doll's House to be a feminist play. Do you consider it to be a play about feminism? I could see where that opinion comes from. Um, Ibsen so cleverly uses Nora as the driving force. Um, but I think it's relevant to, to any young person who is trying to figure out who or what they are. Um, but it does a great job of using um, a dynamic young woman. This has to be um, particularly challenging for you. You're on. Hi. <laughs> a particularly challenging young woman. That's what we have. Uh, this is George Judy, the director of Adult House. Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm um, good. You're about an hour away, you say? I am. <laughs> <laughs> We are having our first audience tonight, and that's going to be exciting just to get some energy back. You guys have been working so hard, it's time to get a little back, you know, so that's a good thing. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. This has been, as I was um, saying, a particularly challenging part for you. You're on stage the majority of the show. Mm -hmm. And how have you, as an actor, approached the sort of marathon performance that you're going to be doing every night? How do you prepare yourself for that? One of my favorite directors told me when I was doing my senior thesis in my undergrad a couple years ago to just think about the first moment and then the rest will happen. And I've yet to really master that technique, um, but I think just going out there knowing that the first moment is going to hit and then just live in the moment. George, um, as a director, what was your, your concept or your main message that you wanted to convey with this production of A Doll's House and how does Sarah fit into that for you? Well I think Sarah alluded to it before the idea that as human beings we're all uh, in some ways trapped by the roles that society demands that we play in relationships and work and uh, um, school and everything else so the idea of how we confront that sense of limitation that's placed on us by society and come to some sense of who we truly are as people uh, and sometimes that takes a lot of courage and we think of Nora certainly as having a lot of courage and also having the energy to take the world on you know every day for every moment and uh, one of the reasons that we chose this play was because Sarah is that kind of energy in her own life she uh, has great commitment, she goes after what she wants, and her standards are so high that she never stops questioning uh, what she does and how she does it. So it was a great discovery, I think, to go through the experience that Nora goes through, because I think you're right, you're confronting some of those questions right now in your own life about who you are and, uh, and what it is that drives you to take the next step in your life. I think we've also come to some sense that the play, while Nora is at the heart of it, that it embraces all the people that are in the play. And that's been exciting to yeah. discover with uh, a terrific group of actors, sort of a sense of an ensemble approach to liberating our true selves in the face of this world that wants to confine and constrain us. And how has the process been working um, together 
terrible. <laughs> It's terrible. I'm sure I'm getting failed in his class because of this role. No, it's it's been interesting. Uh, as I said, George is one of our teachers here at LSU, and it's it's been a different experience. He directed, of course, Love's Labor's Lost last semester uh, or last spring, rather. And this is a completely different show. It's it's big and um, important. Um, and it's been neat to see him take on a different hat with director. Yeah, I think it's uh, it's been really interesting for me as well. Uh, you always sort of begin to grow toward a particular way of working, depend on the material that you have, and also the actors that you have. So I, I got stuck frequently directing casts of thousands, and so it was nice to mm -hmm. have a smaller group of people that we could really collaborate together and exchange things about the work and mm -hmm. solve problems as we went along. So it's yeah. been great fun that way. And she, she's probably making a really good grade in my class, so. <laughs> a plus all around. I hope so. <laughs> well, thank you for joining us today. They're actually uh, telling me that they need you in the dressing room to start getting ready for tonight's performance. Oh. So thank you so much for sharing your ideas and opinions with us today about Henrik Ibsen's A Dollhouse, performing at the Riley Theater February 3rd through the 21st as a Swine Palace production, part of the Louisiana State University Theater Program. Break a leg. Thanks. <laughs>